Des from Arrow Tarot here, and yes, I'm actually doing another voiceover with my phone and showing off me, I don't know, I literally am just working on a picture in this video. <laughs> um, just because, like, I thought it might be better than just me sitting there talking, dropping things everywhere. <laughs> Although, I, I mean, last time I recorded, I still dropped things, but, you know, what, what, whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so figured I'd just kind of do it like this again. So this is for uh, day eight and nine of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. And before I get into the questions, I figured I'd at least kind of just mention what I'm drawing. Um, although that does actually deal with day nine. So I'll, I'll just at least say what I'm drawing first. <laughs> so basically, um, what I'm drawing in this picture, which I'm not like drawing it, I'm actually, I, I, wanted to actually do like a full drawing or at least me like just doing the sketching thing but like my camera died and I was too I was like I ain't waiting and then I also knew that like just how long it takes for me to draw and then like ink the whole thing like was just gonna be like way too long anyway so I kind of like went in most of the bones of it like the whole bones of it was already inked and then I was just finishing the hatching and then I went in with my um Tombow dual brush pens, which is the grayscale palette, um, since I want this all to be black and white, and this is the first, like, one that I've, like, done really with it, um, since this is the third card, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just went in with that, and, uh, it, it worked out, at least for the video, uh, but basically what this card is, um, you'll see, like, the actual, um, number <laughs> at, like, the end, um, but this is, my interpretation of the hanged man um since earlier i had drawn kind of like mine it ended up becoming like an interpretation of temperance and i did actually want to like make my own tarot deck like my ideas and stuff of it um so i guess it's just gonna end up being pen i know with this one i did not do enough with line weight um, the temperance one, the line weight's, like, on point. Same with the one that I did for her the hermit, which was the other one that I did. But I was also just trying to use the Tombow, Tombow, uh, dual brush pens for the first time, so I think this came out okay anyway, even though the line weight's just kind of basic. <laughs> like, there is no line weight, really. <laughs> um, but that's okay. But yeah, like, that's just kind of what I'm working on in this, uh, picture, so... Yeah, anyway, so I guess I'll go ahead and start. So, day eight is your top five decks on your wish list now. And I don't keep a wish list, like, all. I used to. I used to actually even physically write them down. And it ended up just being pages long. <laughs> so, I kind of stopped. And usually what I'll do is, if I see a deck that I like, I bookmark it into a Pacific uh, folder, <laughs> just just for for decks that I want and usually I don't always even look back at that folder unless I have no idea of what deck to get like usually if I've got some spending money usually there's already a deck that I have in mind or a few decks or I'll just go kind of search for ones I don't even usually go back to like my folder like the folder I usually go back to if I don't know, maybe, like, they want to buy me Christmas presents or birthday presents or something, or I really can't think of something. Although, usually, also, it's more so for, like, if I want to drop some money on maybe getting, like, an indie deck or something. So, I don't really keep a wish list. Um, the closest thing to a wish list would probably be my list of things that I want on Etsy. So, all but two of the ones, which I wrote down more than five, I wrote down seven. Um, and then I thought I would just kind of pick from those seven, the five while I was recording. <laughs> but, like, five of them that I wrote down out of the seven are, are on Etsy, and then the other two, um, are not. Um, <laughs> so, like, that, that, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, in no particular order, I'll take five out of the seven, since, like I said, I don't really keep a wish list anyway. Gosh darn it, I got something on my glasses. Let me see, please. The specs annoying me. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would probably say I know I want to get the mass-produced uh, crow tarot. 
when that comes out. My mom wants to get that too. We have the um the the one that was on a uh, Kickstarter and gosh darn it we love it. <laughs> so of course we both want to get the uh, mass produced cop uh, version when it comes out this year. Um so that's definitely high up. Then I would probably say one of the ones I've kind of gone uh, back and forth on that maybe I'll finally get this year, since I know it's still on Etsy, is the, um, Anima Mundi by the Creeping Moon, um, shop. And, like, I think it's really beautiful, but there, there's just been something about it that's just been holding me back, so, like, maybe I'll finally get that one this year, I don't know. <laughs> um, I know I've been wanting the Neon Moon Tarot, um, by Pixel Occult. Especially, like, now that because I have the Sinking Wasteland Tarot, but now I just got the um, Adore Abyssal because I had that one um, backed on Kickstarter and I got it for Christmas. So I kind of want to go ahead and maybe get like the Neon Moon Tarot. Um, for the fourth, I would probably say um, maybe the Lovely Omens Tarot by a, uh, what would that be pronounced? Keely L works, I think's how you'd pronounce. I don't know. I'm terrible at pronouncing uh, things like shop names. Um, <laughs> uh, but I think that deck's really pretty. It's been kind of like on my top to get. I just haven't gotten it, Avi. <laughs> um, like I got other things like with my Christmas money. Like actually, I literally left it out in the living room. But I got um, oh, how big is it? I think it's like a six point seven inch and it weighs like two and a half pounds like polychrome jasper that i got on sale um from beckethist's uh store um which that's usually where if i get crystals online i get it at beckethist and i got that one um they were having a sale at the end of the year trying to clear everything out so i got it like 60 percent off so i had to go big you know <laughs> it was like sale like yes please <laughs> so I ended up like getting that and like a shit ton of color pencils um <laughs> instead <laughs> and then I got like my my crystal tree and like one deck so I ended up not getting the lovely omens with my Christmas money gosh darn what fell I something slid off and just fell and I don't even know what it is oh it was my markers my markers just fell over <laughs> Of course, something has to slide and fall. Um, then for a fifth deck, um, I would probably say maybe, I feel like this one's a tie, um, because I think they're both still available on Etsy, like last time I checked, like I can literally look right now, because I, I think the one was supposed to be more of a limited, so like I... I'm signed out of Etsy? Since when did that happen? <laughs> I'm always automatically signed into Etsy. Like, what you doing? Oh, maybe it's because I signed in at... I don't know. I did sign in over my names, I think. Did I? I don't remember. Um, where's my favorites? Uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. That's one that I thought about getting, which, like, literally would be shipping from o from Ohio. And I was like, bitch, that's where I'm from. Cool. Um, yeah, it's still available. Um, the Children of the Universe Tarot, which is a major arcana deck. I think that one's, like, really pretty. And, like, literally the size of it. They're skinny cards. And, like, I, like, literally kind of like the Yonasa Yaus, which, like, I freaking love. But, like, these are, these are all majors, and just, they're very pretty, and I like it. Um, so maybe that one. Um, it is just a major deck, and it's still, like, $30, and it would probably take a bit to get here, because it'd be from Germany. But the shop name is, um, Shirogiku. So, uh, S-H-I-R-O-G-I-K-U. So, Shirogiku. Um, but, um... Yeah. Uh, I like spaced out for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's probably tied. Maybe even a three-way tie. Um, cause there was one that I was recently looking at, 
which is that one that was, um, wait, that's from Lakewood, Ohio? Oh, I, I even know about that place, you know? <laughs> it's Ohio, you know? Like, yeah, this, um, this is also a major deck. It's only $18 free shipping. The shop is, a uh, Tangle Heart, which only has, like, a few, um, soul, but it's a 23 major deck that was made during Inktober from 2016, which I think is pretty cool. And I like the artwork. Of course, it's, like, all pen, you know, so... That's cool. And then the other one, um, which was more so part of that uh, tie, would be the uh, Very very Tiny Tarot Deck by Trungles, which is on the Ouija Pija uh, Etsy store. So W-E-E-J-A-P-E-E-J-A. And it's freaking adorable. It's like a smaller tarot deck, and it's just really cute. <laughs> like, this is... This is cute, like, adorable. And you can get, like, oh, the deluxe. <laughs> the the deluxe um, comes with a, a bag and a spread cloth. <laughs> but, like, the deck already costs, like, $45, and the deluxe with the bag and the spread is 75 so I don't know if I'd get that. Shipping's only 5 bucks, which isn't bad, but, like, the deck's really cute, so, like, it's at least on a wish list level, you know what I'm saying? Because this is adorable. But, yeah, those would pretty much be it. I could also even say, like, maybe, like, the Moonchild Tarot. Um, that's also kind of been one that I won- I've been wanting. So, yeah, those would basically be my top, like, eight, I said, like, eight decks <laughs> that, um, are kind of, like, on my wish list. So, yeah, it's, it's hard to really just do a five just because, like, even just kind of picking them out just because, like, I, ha- I I don't just go, like, oh, this is the one deck that I need to get next, you know? I just kind of get them more so, like, when I feel called to them and I have the money to spend, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so... For day nine is kind of like another one where I was just going to be talking. (laughs) And this is your tarot goals for 2019. And literally, um, the first one is actually something that I I forgot to actually do earlier. Where did I put it? I was going to maybe... Ah, it's right here. Um, Which is to keep up with my daily pulls as much as I can. And I actually haven't done today's yet. And it's already like... 3.19 3.19 p.m., but that's okay. I can do it for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, I forgot because I, like, immediately was, like, must work on picture <laughs> as soon as I, like, got up. <laughs> well, first, as soon as I got up, I saw that my package was delivered, and I was just waiting for, like, my papa to bring it over. So I was like, crystals. <laughs> Since I got three, I got the the polychrome jasper, but then I also got um a piece of moldavite which I've kind of been wanting Moldavite. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know how you pronounce this. Uh, Prenite? Is that how you pronounce it? Prenite? It's P-R-E-H-N-I-T-E, if I remember correctly. But it's so pretty, and I don't remember what its properties are now, but I did look them up when I was... I just was like, I'm gonna throw in some tumbled crystals, you know? I mean, like, since, since sale, you know? So, And then the Moldavite, those, that costs a bit more. Um... And, but, yeah, so I finally got a piece of rough moldavite, which is cool. Um, but, yeah, like, I completely forgot <laughs> to to do my daily draw. So I'm going to do that after I record this um, and before I put my videos together. Um, but, yeah, and then that's, the, that's kind of the first goal is to just keep up with my daily drawings as much as possible. Um, also, like, journaling. I still haven't put down what my monthly um, spread outcome was in, like, in the tarot, I, I wouldn't really keep, like, my tarot journal, tarot, um, traveler's notebook as something, like, that I was writing in. I was trying to put that in a different book just so I can kind of just have more of the inserts focus on, like, card meanings and, like, my interpretations, like, you know, like, just all that jazz. Um, but I did decide to make an insert, which is actually, I, I use, like, Winnie the Pooh paper, too, so it's freaking adorable, um, just so I can have a reason to pull that out more, and to just journal more. <laughs> so I haven't done the months, like, written it down, 
Um, but I'm going to try to write down what my weekly pulls mean, you know, like, not just, because dailies, I don't feel like there, like there's a point of just kind of just jotting down, like, what the dailies means, you know, like, I pull a card, I'm like, oh, okay, so, like, this, this is, this is what the card is for the day, like, this is the message for the day, you know, and that's, it's just a single card, like, I just kind of get it, you know, but, like, if I'm pulling multiple cards, then, like, you know, they're all interacting with each other, so, like, I'll write that down, especially depending on the deck, you know, like, with different imagery and stuff, different decks reading differently, um, but, yeah, so, like, for monthly pulls, any fun spreads I do, um, and just my weeklies, I'm gonna try to write that in there, and that's part of the whole, Des, do some more readings for yourself, gosh darn it, (laughs) um, yeah, and then for my second goal, because I have, like, what, like, five, I have five goals, (laughs) The the fifth the second one and the third one kind of deal with each other. Um, the second one is to make a major only deck based around my fan fiction, Withered, which I have a card done. I have one done ditchly, but I kind of just want to do them in black and white pen, graphite, maybe even my Tombow um, dual brush markers. Um, so, like, a black and white grayscale kind of image, um, but I do already have one done digitally, so, like, I'll just redraw it, (laughs) and then, um, I had another one drawn in my other sketchbook, so I'll just kind of redraw it and make it look better for when I do that, and I already have an idea for some of them because, like, each one's based after a chapter of the story, and then for certain cards, I might do twice, um, so then I have, like, a fan fiction version of the deck, and then I'll also have the more um, non fan fiction version because now I want to write like a non fan fiction like book booky version of the story as well. <laughs> I mean, it'll be the length of a book, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I want to do that, and then with the third goal is also along that lines of besides finishing the withered, which I want to do while I'm working on the story, and it's also just a major deck. So that makes it a lot easier, and it's also a lot easier for me to know what to draw for each one, so, like, that's not really hard. Um, but for the third one, it's to finish another tarot deck completely, or at least get a good chunk of another one done. Because I've been meaning to, like, make this one deck, um, for, I don't know, like, a year and a half, and I still only have, like, three cards done. Partly because... I have to use, like, a uh, canvas paper, and then also, like, try using actual paint, and, like, yeah, so I am think instead I'm going to focus more so on doing kind of like what you're seeing in this image of just my pen, just even, uh, maybe a little hint of graphite, and this one I ended up putting, like, some graphite in, um, as well, just because it looked nice, <laughs> but, yeah, so, just, just kind of, like, my own, like, deck in general, not, like, themed around, like, things that I like or anything, because I've made a tarot deck before with a theme, and I kind of just wanted to make one that was more just story-driven and not, like, theme-wise, so, yeah, I, I, I that one's pretty much just the other deck, <laughs> And I kind of want to get either the majority of this one done, or I want to at least get a good chunk of it done. Like, if I could at least get all the majors done, I will be a happy person. (laughs) Especially since I'd also be doing the the withered majors as well, so, yeah. (laughs) So the the next goal is just to, um, like... I don't know, like, try reading for the family more, like, I always have it, like, open that if anyone literally just wanted, like, a free, simple reading, I really don't care, I'll, like, I'll do it, like, I don't do, really do readings for anyone, it's not like anyone asks, so, you know, it always gives me some good practice of, like, reading for people that aren't myself or my family, so, yeah, I, I don't know, like, um, maybe just watch out, maybe, like, just do it more for family, too, like, just, just so it's not just reading for myself, and then also gives me an excuse to pull decks out and use them, you know, (laughs) um, 
Then the last one is just work with more decks. Work with more of my decks. Just deck. I literally just... Because I wrote, I wrote out the answers in advance. And I literally just wrote decks dot 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 <laughs> dot. So I think that was partly just get more decks. And then also like just decks. You know like work with the decks. Buy more decks. Tarot decks. <laughs> um... Yeah, <laughs> I don't remember if, which one of those I meant by, but they both apply. So that's still part of the fifth point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this has been my uh, day eight and nine of Bethany's 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I know... Just, just to, just to make this, um, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking it'd be cool to, like, then cut to another audio of me going, like, oh, yes, and then this is my finished piece since I did have a, 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 a panning over video. So, I guess, cut to the, the panning over video, audio thingy, mc, thinger thing. <laughs> and, yes, <laughs> I, I, I cut to the panning thingy, mc, thinger thinger. But, yes, this is my finished picture i wish i had been paying more attention to line weight there's like no line weight in this image but i guess that's okay it looks it looks it looks decent it looks good you know but yeah this is this is pretty this is this is how the picture came out this is my hanged man um anyway yeah so i'm des from arrow tarot and i'm logging off so bye <laughs>